we have studied about the forces of attraction and repulsion between the charges if the charges are similar there will be repulsion and if the charges are opposite there will be attraction but how much will be this force this was initially told to us by coulomb and it is detailed in the coulomb's law coulomb made a law for this and on the basis of that we have uh, started our uh, electrostatic forces and all other phenomena which we are going to study so what was coulomb's law or what is coulomb's force coulomb's force we generally use for the force between two charges may be repulsion may be attraction okay because coulomb's law govern it we call it coulomb's force now what is coulomb's law coulomb said that if there are two particles having electrical charge maybe one particle is having charge magnitude q1 there is another particle which is having charge of the magnitude q2 then there will be a force this will apply force on this this will apply force on this so the force applied on this will be in a direction that is along the line joining the two charges so this is if it is repulsion we will show it this way if it is attraction then we will show it this way but in any case the direction will be along the line please remember the second thing he said that what should be the magnitude of force so this force he said will be proportionate to the charges q1 and q2 now what should be the relation between the two charges if we are increasing the charges the force will increase but how much increase in the charges will bring how much increase in the force for that he said the relation is multiplication that means if this charge is 1 and 1 the force is proportionate to 1 and if this charge we increase two times and this charge we increase three times then the force will not be 2 plus 3 five times but force will be 2 multiplied by 3 six times so he found this is not correct this is correct so he did not choose plus he chose multiplication so q1 multiplied by q2 that is the force okay c is coulomb's constant and later in si system the value was calculated as f is equal to this c is 9 into 10 to the power 9 q1 q2 upon r square this is the value of coulomb's constant and this value is due to this c is affected by the surrounding of these charges that is medium so depends on medium for free space or for air c has a value 9 into 10 to the power 9 and now we can fix up its unit force as a unit of newton so this is newton r square will be meter square meter square coulomb coulomb this will come here so coulomb per coulomb square so c 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square this is value of coulomb's constant okay so this was in the free space if there is a medium then value of c will change and that change will be due to a characteristic of the medium we call that characteristic permittivity and that we will study in the next lecture what is permittivity so this is coulomb's law two things number 
the magnitude will be given by this equation and the direction will be along the line. Right? So, this is Coulomb's law. In the next lecture, we will see how this C changes with the medium and there is a characteristic known as permittivity in the medium which affect this Coulomb's constant or the force between two charges.